We have this little guy. He has a little bit of hay underneath him because we just gave them hay this morning. He was checked two days ago. We found a little bit of matting started. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to trim off where the matting typically is. So he has a little bit of matting starting right here. This is just very simple. Push the ears down and then make sure your the wool is standing up. And you don't have to cut this all the way close to the skin at all. You can cut it at similar layer. So you have, this is what's been cut off. And this is the teeny tiny uh, little mat that has been starting. The rest of it is not matted. So we gave them hay, like I said, and there's some hay in the wool. Whenever you have hay in the wool, here's another piece. Hay is something that the wool, it gets tangled in the wool and the, it likes to um, create even more tangles. He's just a very, very good rabbit. I really like um, what he has for furnishings. I like that he's not fully furnished on the top of his head. He's not super furnished on the, t the tips of his ears. He's gonna have a little bit of furnishings come up when he's older. You can tell that because uh, when you look, there's some longer bits growing on the ears. But otherwise, we just have a few more little bits uh, to remove here. So if you want, because we trimmed the top off, to trim uh, more behind the ears, what I do is, as you can see, I kind of push the ears gently back and then use my thumb and this finger and without cutting myself, I get it started. And this has no matting in it, but it's just something that I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna continue on. There's a little bit behind. I'm not cutting this fully down to the skin. Now this is this first bunny's experience with scissors. And so I need to keep that in mind. I'm not doing anything that's like uh, painful, harmful. Um, not that you're going to do that anyways to your rabbits, but there's, we're going to, you know, we're home. There's no loud noises. Everything is nice and quiet. So this is just an easy, simple experience for this bunny. Nothing, nothing too difficult. Now, something to know about uh, this particular bunny is that, um, this is a litter that was started in the house. So this rabbit is used to things, uh, house noises, like the furnace just kicked on. This rabbit is used to that. That's not something difficult for the rabbit. If a rabbit has never been in a house before and you bring it inside the house to trim off some mats or to shear it, that's a new experience for the rabbit. And that adds a little bit to the stressful shearing experience, which, you know, for rabbits, they're like, they don't want to just sit still and get a haircut. When they're older, they do. When they're older, they just don't mind. So, you know, I'm just kind of gently taking my time looking and I see that everything around here and around uh, the ears, the back of the ears, I have no more mats in here. Nothing, which is perfect. This is such a nice little bunny. Very beautiful bunny. Let's take a look here just at length. All right. So this rabbit is a little over two months old. Great length, very great length coming. So we just kind of check. Like I said, we gave hay, so I keep finding bits of hay in this rabbit. So this rabbit has never been flipped over uh, for shearing on its back before. And that's something um, we do have to flip it over. We do have to take a look at the back end because if we have a little bit of matting here, it's likely that by the tail area and perhaps underneath the armpits, we may have a little bit of matting. Those are normal areas for rabbits, Angora rabbits, to get matting because the rabbit uses its arms, the rabbit uses its head, it uses its ears, and it is just, you know, it's an area that's down by the ground. So I can feel hay and you can see hay. So the hay is already getting stuck in there, which happens when you give hay. And um, sometimes the rabbits clean this off. They clean it out. Sometimes they don't. This is a serious, this little type of hay right here is a very common culprit. All the seeds from the grass. That, that easily gets stuck in your rabbit. Well, here's another piece that has seeds. Take that one out. 
but yeah, we just wanna, we wanna make sure um, with the bunny, rabbits don't often like that. Um, this, you know, you can see he steps back a bit, but feeling underneath the chin too is something you wanna check for any mats, but there was nothing there because he's a good little rabbit. All right, so we have this little guy and we're gonna do our hold. So you can tell, that was his first time flipping over on his back. You can tell he's just allowed to flip back if he wants. He was kept there just momentarily and he decided, no, I don't want to do it. The holds are something that uh, we use in the Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry, the How to Share Your Angora Rabbit with Kindness. Beautiful, beautiful wool here. What do you think, little bunny? What do you think? Are you ready to play? They get to go in the exercise pen after this. I flipped him over, moved the camera, just kind of holding him here. He can kind of see me. He's a little tense, I can feel that. Just looking to see uh, what we've got going on. We have a little bit, you can see the tail is dragging a little bit for um, a little bit of a dirty tail. So that's something we'll want to for sure clean up. They have very tender skin though, so your cuts, just be very careful. So what I'm doing is I'm just barely trimming off a little bit, whatever was just kind of getting a little soiled, a little, a little dirty here. We don't want that. And we can easily just remove that. Um, for your rabbit, just kind of, I use my finger and gently hold back um, parts that I, of the rabbit that I don't want to get in the way and have cut. So I'm trimming up the bottom of this little white tail right now the tail is again something that it can easily get all matted up this one isn't matted this is just it had some soiling on it and you know we don't we just don't want this to compound so taking care of it right away is so much easier than waiting and having to take care of it later on So the bottom of the tail doesn't look like any of this had any anything on it. So there's a little bit of soiling right there. A little bit of hay trapped in here. That's something he doesn't really want to give me his leg. Let him flip over. But he doesn't really want to give me his leg. He doesn't like that yet. So we just give him some time. Just a very good rabbit. And then we'll flip him over again. Just kind of nicely like that. And we'll do a little bit quicker, a little bit faster here for the trimming. Because he just, what he's telling us is, okay, I am losing patience with you. I want to do something else. This is, this is getting to be a bit much. Keeping the tail out of the way. Don't want to cut the tail. Just any of the chips of that wool, just trim up that back, uh, that back end a little bit. This is just going to make it so much easier to manage your rabbit's wool when you do um, eventually shear your rabbit. So I've got that leg again. We tried again. See, we gave him a break. Tried again. Just very carefully cutting off the tips of the soiled wool. And let's see what do we have for the rest. Whoop. And as you can see, the rabbit's not prevented from flipping over. He can flip over all he wants. That's my own hair. But it looks like there's not much for matting under the front armpits uh, and the back. Uh, right here, you can barely see, but right here where my hand is, underneath that back leg, it looks like when I feel it, when I looked at it briefly, there really was, there was no matting. And that's exactly what we want to see. He's ready to go play. We'll show you the, uh, what we took off, the amount of wool that we trimmed off today, just on this little trim, extremely short as you can see. You can go a little bit faster than that if you want, but this is it. So you got a lot of hay that we just picked out, but really it's an absolute teeny tiny amount that we trimmed off today.
So as always, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and definitely subscribe so you can get more of our Angora Rabbit videos. Bye-bye.